There is significant noise, there is significant pressure, and for the players that are here, this has to be the kind of game that as a U.S. international, you have to want to be a part of. And the ball rolls in San Pedro Sula, Honduras and the United States, both sides with two points from the first two games of the octagonal, both drawing against Canada and El Salvador, and now both in search of their first win in these World Cup qualifiers. And an early attack for the United States, it just goes wide of what would have been a dream start for George Bello. Acosta for Sargent. Pepe in support. Taking a slight deflection to Sargent, trying to win it back. Quarter of an hour gone. This is Arriaga for Honduras. Finding a bit of space now as the Hondurans on the break. Splutted through for Moya. Moya catches her on the side of the net. And just how quick Honduras can count it. Once more is Christian Pulisic. To the space here for George Bello. Drives the cross back post. Sargent chasing it down. Knocked down. Pepe swings at it. Just over the crossbar on what would have been a debut goal for the teenager. Oh, that's a golden chance. And that's probably the exactly where he wants that ball to play. Bello's challenge of fair one. Honduras holding on to possession. That's a, that's a whole sequence <laughs> that's mayhem there. And it starts with... The U.S. just being sloppy in possession. The ball finds Josh Sargent. Tries to take on players in the wrong position. And he touches by Rubio. Looking for the runner of Rodriguez now. Early cross edge of the six. And it's the opening goal for Honduras. After a giveaway in the midfield, it's Brian Moya who breaks the deadlock. And the Catrachos strike first. This whole sequence started by the U.S. giving the ball away sloppily. John Brooks then gets dragged out of out of that center back position. And then it's a late recognition of George Bello there to try to come inside and, and make up for the loss of John Brooks in that central position. Good ball in, though, by Rodriguez. And Moya finds himself wide open inside the six. He can't believe his luck. Coito on the sideline can't believe his luck as well. Flores scores down quickly by Sands. Into the middle, it's Rubio on his right, Rubio going for goal! Doesn't get it to bend enough. Aside from the chances that they created in the first 20 minutes, they haven't looked threatening, they haven't looked really connected. On the threat now for Moya, it's an important touch by Brooks and Turner. He's able to gather it up. That's an NFL throw from Matt Turner. For Pulisic, 2v3. Christian Pulisic into the area. Pulisic with help from Pepe. Pulisic! And he pulled the trigger. And it'll be a goal kick for Honduras. When the ball does get to the forward line, it's usually him who's getting on the ball and trying to do things by himself because he doesn't have many options to play with at the moment, Dre. Only frustrating first 45 for the United States. Honduras with the lead. Now they have three in midfield. Will they be able to take advantage of that mismatch? Uh, the numerical advantage. Will that afford him some more time and space to get on the ball and be a little bit more comfortable? Moya laying it off and getting it back. This is Moya, the goal scorer. Andy Nahar getting involved in the attack. Arriaga tripped up by Leggett. Fair challenge for the veteran. That's given away to Kyoto in a dangerous spot. And Robinson deals with it. Pepe laying it off. This is Pulisic now 2v2 with help from Robinson and fresh legs on the way. It's Pulisic. Leggett. Plenty of targets in the box. Lovely delivery for Pepe left behind. Robinson! It's an instant response straight out of the halftime break. Anthony Robinson with the equalizing goal for the Americans. You make changes and these changes come to life. Good hold-up play there by Ricardo Pepe. Christian Pulisic being decisive. He sees space, he attacks it. And then look, this is a quick early ball, early decision here. Sebastian Leggett recognizes that there are numbers in the box. Ricardo Pepe making that near post run. Affects the play just enough. Anthony Robinson just introduced to the game. The left back getting forward. A cultured, little calm, composed finish with his right foot. You know what's different? The last, one of the last plays we saw going into halftime was Christian getting the ball and running at defenders. And he's 1v1 or 1v2 and has no support. In this scenario now, though, Ricardo Pepe wins the ball, and you see the amount of guys that are busting along to get forward. 
Rivas drives it back post Kyoto brought down expert needs Kyoto on his left and it's just wide from Ronel Kyoto back on level terms with a massive two points up for grabs nicely time challenge by Sands slick from Pulisic and dispossessed by Rivas Lovely turn by Kyoto. An ambitious shot from the veteran. Won't trouble Turner. Sergeant in the pocket of space. And they get off nicely for Leggett. The shots parried wide by Buba Lopez. And less than 10 minutes gone in this second half. It's a completely different approach from the U.S. Lifted in by Diego Rodriguez. Sent back by Andy Nahar. Dangerously. Turner able to slap it down as Kyoto was chasing it down. A terrific save from Matt Turner to keep the U.S. in this. Knockdown for Acosta. It's better there. When the ball finds itself wide there, there's numbers in the box. Brendan Aronson making runs that pull the full back out there, pull the center back out, excuse me, to create that lane for Kellen Acosta from a long way out. Acosta well, he gets it to bounce in front of Lopez. Adams. Says Sebastian Lejet. Tyler Adams given space and time, goal bound, and just slapped wide again by Ruba Lopez. Nohar. And really, a point will not satisfy the Hondurans either, who have also been held to a pair of draws in their first two matches. This is Robinson now. Aronson. Lejet. And Yedlin. Lovely cross. Pepe! Pepe by name and Pepe by nature. The youthful exuberance of the teenager has fired the Americans into the lead. He's been doing this in MLS, being a presence in the box. Whether it's taking goals with his feet, whether it's winning headers, he's his positioning, it's his uh, intention to go and attack the ball. It's a good ball in there by DeAndre Yellen. Give credit to this U.S. team. The way they circulated the ball, got it wide. And when they do get it wide, they have numbers there. That young man there, not phased by the occasion, Hasn't had the service this whole game, but when he got his opportunity there, he's taken it and put the U.S. up 2-1 on the road here in Honduras. Really give it away. It has been. It's Pepe again on the front foot. He's got Aronson in support. Ricardo Pepe with the square ball. Aronson has put it away. And surely that's three points for the U.S. Goals in back-to-back -back games for Brendan Aronson. And a dream debut for Ricardo Pepe. Big, big moment here. We talk about the U.S. just being smart, seeing up this game. And when the opportunity presents itself, you take that third goal. And they do just that. Recognizing the little mistake there on that left-hand side, Ricardo Pepe takes the ball in stride, sees Brendan Harrison and puts it on a platter for him. Brendan Harrison getting goals in back-to-back -back games. Adams. Finding little resistance here. Pepe already has a goal to his name. It's Ricardo Pepe! Touched wide, and Legette puts it away for the USA's fourth. A game turned on its head, and three huge points for Burhalter's Americans. It starts with Tyler Adams winning the ball in midfield here, and just recognizing the run of Ricardo Pepe. He stays on side. He tries to get his second on the night. But again, when you talk about the subs coming on and making an impact, Christian Roldan is up there, but it's Sebastian Lejet who's on the far post and gets the tap in to make it 4-1. There is your final whistle in a match marked by adversity. Without some of the talismanic names, the U.S. respond brilliantly. Led by the teenager Ricardo Pepe. Honduras 1, USA 4.